What's poppin' people? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. We got some Levia and we got some King Sukumon. Uh, also got a hella zoomed in camera for no reason. Don't really know why, but it'd be like that. Uh, so, uh, yeah, apologies about that. Hope you've enjoyed uh, the locals, well, the regional footage. But wanted to get some more standard gameplay that we used to see in. We're gonna have that Chumon pass over one and a training. I hesitate to say punish, but I mean, we'll be going in. We're gonna swing in, hit a Levia, which will give us the on delete. Take the Etamon, and then you can play out the Chumon sideways. And then we're gonna go into a Mist Membu. Oh, not Mist Membu, it's Pride Membu, plays out the Platinum Supermon. So it manages to go too wide on the board. Personally, I'm more of a fan of always getting over your Chumon. Like, going over your Chumon with an Evo just to make sure it always guarantees float is pretty important early game, but at the same time, at some point, the Chumon's going to be, like, actual double agent. Okay, let's hope we are going to see it swung over, and that's kind of why I think it's a little bit awkward. We're going to have the Biting Crush, and the Biting Crush is going to de-digivolve the Guru X, thanks to Platinum Suka. So, yeah, it's, it's another one of those awkward situations where I prefer the evolving over the Chumon to try and set it up. I don't know if we're going to see a bounce. We're going to see the Membus. And then we're going to go Targetmon into Etamon to get the Shrink. I actually don't hate that that much. Targetmon, not a Digimon that we're overly fond of. We think it's a little bit awkward to use and is the worst three memory you could ever spend to Evo. But, I mean, 3 memory to play is not bad. It's on par with all the other Sukumons in terms of that. The blocker is nice, but... I don't know. Definitely not a fantastic list. Well, a fantastic card, anyway. We're gonna swing in. It is gonna hit the training. Doesn't die. Um... That's what we do from here. The Chumon, I'm assuming, is going to stay upright. And we're going to go into the Metal Etamon. I actually don't hate that. The ult. With the LFG. Bro is Pogging. Now the question is... Do we get the full punish here? Because War of Seedramon will give everything that on the Legion lose a memory when it plays something from trash and then it can choose to swing into a different target we are going to biting crush to float into the leviamon which is going to pop the highest and the lowest but we use the target mon to pop the sukumon in response so it tries to get both of them at the same time and then target mon is going to delete the sukumon and then sukumon on deletion is going to check top three I'd probably take the Platinum, but we're going to take the Etamon instead, and then the Chumon is going to float into any other Chumon from Trash, and it looks like we're going to go into the one that has the on play during your opponent's turn. We get it's pretty decent value there, so we lose two memory, and then there was the gain two off of the Leviya, but it does mean the Metal Etamon is safe, and then the Metal Etamon is going to redirect into the Waru Seedramon, most likely. Oh, yeah, we also get the Etamon ESS as well. We just got Marcio just off camera explaining how the uh, Etamon list works. Uh, like, in terms of the interactions for the protection, because uh, it uh, is a deck that Marcio actually, we, we were testing it. Not just Jess playing it, but we were also testing um, Metal Etamon as well, pretty seriously with Marcio, so he's very familiar with how all of these cards work. And once again, we're gonna get <laughs> the protection there. I'm assuming he didn't get the... I'm assuming he didn't do the redirect, because this was when attacking trigger or something. Because I would have loved to see them just redirect into Metal Etamon, force the crash, but here we are again. And then attempt to delete the Metal Atomon for the third time. There goes Platinum Sukumon to get the Nidigi Ball. Then we will gain one off of the Leviamon. So, yeah, very, very strange there. We're going to see the swing over. 
And I mean, you need to see the Sukumons because you need it. You need it there for the protection. We're gonna go Etamon. Oh, I don't hate that actually. Yeah, minus 3k and force it to attack the start of main and then we're gonna redirect it in. He's supposed to load a Suko or Etamon to make it do the redirection. So, so it's supposed to heal one. We're gonna get to play the Sukumon. And then, yeah, he's gonna read it. So, put a Sukumon in the top of security to get the redirect into Metal Etamon. So, we actually been playing that full ball control. Last time he didn't do it, but this time we're vibing. And, I mean, Binding Crush down again is gonna target the Metal Etamon. And both of them have the protection. So, yeah, there goes Sukumon. Sukumon floating once again is gonna take the target Mon because it is Etamon and Sukumon in name, so it can't do either. I'm gonna swing at security, hit another training. Swing at security is gonna live. Swing at security, and finally the last one dies. I think I would have preferred to see the Chumon, but like evolve. But I guess it's to stop it from floating and tr triggering biting crush. So instead, just goes double Chumon drop and set up pretty nicely. I think the black Chumon's fantastic. It's a shame it doesn't have the uh, re reducing Evo one. Like the two-colored Chumon that reduces Evo is like dummy busted but of course paying the two color tax chumon's not being able to evolve over a uh over an specific egg to evolve for one is kind of or evolve for zero is kind of cringe you can have dragomon play out although the problem is <laughs> down comes platinum to come on the, the problem with this is, is you're still you're still not going to get super value. We're going to get the Siako, which is going to draw one, two, three, four, five cards and then trash one. And then Matt is going to give us back a memory because the card was trash. And then Biting Crush is going to play the Levia, which is going to attempt to pop the Chumon and the Methletamon, which is then going to cause... Ah, clever. Clever. Manages to bait out the protection and then goes for it, but it's not gonna be enough to stop him So we are just gonna swing and take game one Whilst the players are shuffling up though I do want to say a massive thank you to everyone that has been supporting the channel We're up to a big bunch of members now at the mega tier We do have just justice Josh our tier 3 sub as well as ultimate tier and we do have at the ultimates the Tommy NT Tommy tricks on the sticks and three strike rule and the champions Shinny carry coffee Deus and DHM joined by solar Ouroboros and then the rookies Bradley Rob said Bainbridge Coombs Greatness beam and new King Fuji Toro the first two turns out of the way we do have the two color Chumon with that doesn't reduce memory in the back I think it's like EX4 Sukumon on board and then we got the Gessamon the Gessamon gives them online where you get memory for playing stuff out and your like all turns when an opponent plays a Digimon is incredibly annoying. I'm gonna see the Siakamon come down, which is just gonna get that draw one trash one. But even in BT16, whilst Levia is not that strong, the inherits are still really annoying. There's a lot of cards that play stuff by effects. And it's gonna make it that the card is just like a little bit more difficult to use. Sukumon is going to find something off the hit, and then we're going to see the block come in. And then it's going to play a Chumon from Trash, which is then going to lose a memory thanks to that Gizumon Inherit that we are just talking about. And then instead, since it's already suspended, it's going to go over the Platinum Sukumon. So now if the Platinum Sukumon does get swung over, not only is it going to float, but it is also going to get the, the Digivolve. We get a Training go into a Gizumon. Has to Trash one, otherwise he's going to gain back the memory. It's already evolving for zero, so you don't really want it to be evolved for zero, then spark. And this means that the Dragon is going to pass two rather than passing over the one. And we're going to gain back the extra memory off of the new Inherits, and out comes Gizmon. Going to go into the Levia, which is going to pop both. Oh, actually, no, it's just going to pop one because he has the lower, so he doesn't want to get the D Digivolve here. On deletion is going to find the Etamon for the Taunt. I don't hate that. So the problem is we haven't got the King Sukumon here for the... What's it called? Surely you block this. Surely you block this, yeah. Block this, stop the chip, get the D-Digivolve, and then float into a Chumon from Trash. Oh, you know what? He was going to lose so much memory that I don't think he actually wanted to but yeah 
He would have lost three, so yeah, I don't think he wanted to float because he wanted the Pride Memory Boost instead to set up the next turn. This is a pretty good, uh, pretty good board setup here. I like going wide and just putting the memory tax down. There comes Levier again. All right, two checks is what I would say if you didn't hear Ruin Mode first check. Good card, that. Yeah, very unfortunate that he didn't have the uh, Yamon Egg because then that would be the DP that I think allows him to swing over it. Alright, here comes the Octomon. Three bodies on board, so that means we do get the Fujitsumon token. Once again, getting that memory out from the Siakamon. This, this inherits a fight so many times. I'm just going to go for the one choke with the Cerberus. And crucially here... When Sukumon pushes out, we're going to have the memory. And there's going to be the minus 3k and taunt. But, of course, if you kill something off, then you don't even have to taunt it. Just trying to play defensively as best he can. If he can make it into the next turn, then we do have that Metal Letamon to actually set up and start bullying. Four security to four security. And there goes the board. Levy are going to gain back the two. So this is probably looking at a... Swing, pop on suspend. Yep. In goes two. We don't have a Blitz Omni because we are purple. But. Oh. The last check being Etamon lets him play a Meta Letamon from. Uh, it's either hand or trash. As long as you have enough. Uh, as long as you have enough. But since the card was played from trash, just gets to get the Levy X from, for free. So, yeah, we're just going to scoop up and go into the next game. Matrix Digivolution. Yeah, today's sponsor is me. I appreciate everyone supporting me as they have, and there are plenty of other ways to support. The memberships, Twitch Prime, and all of that are great ways to do so, and just making sure that in addition to slapping like down and making sure you are subscribed, there are plenty of other con things that I do that I really love doing and take a lot of work and appreciate if you guys also gave them a shout and gave us some honest feedback on them because the only way we can make them better is if people tell us what they like and dislike. But yeah, that's uh, it for today's sponsor. Appreciate you if you didn't skip it. Back to the video. All right, we're gonna be going into game three. Keeb's kept his opening hand, whereas we did see a mulligan out of our Sukumon player. And it feels like this matchup is actually really difficult. Because the memory tax is there early on, it's hard to get that early aggression float. And then, of course, as soon as the Binding Crush is actually properly set up, the Levia just frequently answers the board. Now we're going to get the minus 3k and taunt. Passes over a low amount as well, so we can't just see a dropped Levia. Uh, do you do the pitch? here to prevent the memory. It looks like we're not. And a Cerberus for the on play with nothing in trash. Not ideal. One cost Evo in the back is kind of grim. But then would pop three cost Tamer. There's no three costs on the board, so nothing to pop for the Metal Letamon. Nice and safe here. Uh, no, never mind. There's no extra Sukumon. I actually kind of wish that he'd played out a Sukumon first. Uh, that's a really early extension that is going to cost them quite a bit. Going to go Sukumon once again, and then... Uh, I don't know where he goes from here. Like, If you go for the taunt one, then you at least get to minus 3k, so it's more likely to die in security, but a lot of those Etamon pieces are kind of weak. So it has to swing. We're going to get the pop on suspend. It's going to swing in for two checks. Like, I don't know what we need here. I mean, that is a good way to get around it. But card played automatically. At least he gets to go double wide, but it's still going to be... Ooh! First check is going to be the security Atomon. And we're going to go into the metal Atomon. And we're going to hit a pride moon boost. So, like, if there was a way to get back into this, it would be there, but... A Biting Crush to clear it. Swing in. He's going to get the on deletion. We're going to find a Tumon, which will probably be evolving in the back. Ride Membus. I think he's trying to figure out. I mean, 
Getting the check. Gonna play the Chumon. Chumon pitch something in order to bring back a Suka. He's gonna take the target. Gonna go one cost Evo in the back. Ugh, three cost Evo for target doesn't make any sense. I mean, I guess it would give it the float, but you might as well just play it because it costs the same. And then we're gonna go double block with the target mon. It's a little slow, but it's gonna stop you from taking lethal. Especially because he's on player rookie to get the unsuspend. Going double blocker here means that he's playing around the Cerberus X inherit. But he's still in a pretty rough position. I'm gonna find the training, which means it looks like we're missing it. I wouldn't mind seeing 7th here. You pick up 7th and you just drop it to pop it. I don't really see the point of going for a second Biting Crush. I think you get more value out of t taking 7th. It costs less, it clears more. Uh, yep, we are going to see that swing. I mean, I guess it does clear one body. Then maybe, I don't think there's, okay, now it's not worth dropping the seventh, and I don't hate what he's done here. Uh, ugh. Swing in, hits a proto form. Not the worst thing in the world. You still need a blocker is the problem. Oh, I mean, you need multiple because he's just gonna. There's swing unsuspend or just swing swing. Like, there's multiple here. Gonna go the Sukumon because it does reduce the cost of the Evo by one. Gonna swing in, gets the D Digivolve on the Levia. And he's gonna choose not to float, which I am the correct option. And then we're gonna play the Edamon. I guess it means if there's any on deletion shenanigans that it would get some extra value, but we're going into a Cerberus mode. Or oh, a Cerberus X, so look for something. Just means that he should be able to play out the level three, which means he can swing pop even with nothing, but it does look like we are on no security, so this is really just setting up just in case. I'm gonna swing at the pop to get the unsuspend, and there goes the Azulong to get the bounce on the second stack, and then we get the block, but it's not gonna be enough. Levia still gonna take it. Good stuff there from Cubes to play around the security bombs. Good stuff from Nato, uh, Sukumon player to keep with it. If you liked what you saw and you do want to see more, you've been enjoying the daily Digimon content, make sure to join the growing list of subscribers, and we will see you in the next one.